So this new launch for Cardano has really shaken things up a bit. <laughs> I think that's putting it lightly. The launch of USDM is obviously huge for the ecosystem. A fiat-backed stablecoin is big. Again, it allows people to actually park liquidity within Cardano, help facilitate growth and building projects and things like that, right? Actually attract people to the chain. Now, the interesting thing that's happened with, <laughs> with USDM is it has not been so stable quite yet. In fact, we have seen what is supposed to be a coin that is pegged to a dollar climb all the way above $5. So if you guys have not seen the charts yet for USDM as of right now, they look insane. All right. Now, US, uh, now Mayhem actually did take to Twitter to explain what's going on. They say, hey, everyone, we appreciate the enthusiasm, but don't buy USDM at $3. During this era, there will be low amounts of test liquidity as it roll as it's rolling into the chain. All right. So I want to explain in layman's term what, what happens here, okay? So right now we're at this point where USDM has low supply, all right? And the thing is, is when you have low supply, the more liquidity that flows in, the more it impacts the price, the more it can move it one way or the other. So because there's not this large amount of USDM minted yet, basically all this liquidity that is flowing into USDM is pushing the price up, which is why it's separated from a dollar. That's why I got up to $5. And again, do not buy up here, all right? This is obviously, this is a great way to get wrecked. If you want to buy a USDM knowing that it's supposed to be a dollar and you buy it at $5, do it at your own risk. Now, I personally have actually seen the opposite side of this, where there is a huge supply, but not enough liquidity. What I'm talking about is when Pulse Chain actually did the fork uh, of Ethereum, right? So they, they actually minted all this dye, the same amount of dye that existed on Ethereum at the time. But the problem was, is that you didn't have that same type of liquidity that existed on Ethereum. So you had this coin that was supposed to be quote unquote $1, but it was valued at way less because the liquidity wasn't there. And we've now seen the opposite thing where the price is super low, but this liquidity is flowing in and pushing the price up. That's, that's essentially what's, what's happening here. Just different supplies, right? So what I would say with this, and, and like I said, at the beginning, you have to give it time to grow. You have to give it time for, for things to stabilize. New launches are always going to be wild. They're going to be sporadic and you have to let them grow organically. Unfortunately, right now, USDM is, is the meme coin of the day. <laughs> so obviously tread lightly. I know many people had questions about this. Many people were confused and people outside of this space, um, were, were kind of dogging on Cardano for, for launching a stable or well, the Cardano ecosystem for launching a stable coin. That's not stable, but many people, they, they just simply don't understand. They don't understand how liquidity works. They don't understand how the supply and demand work. And that's, it is what it is, right? But I just thought I'd share that with everyone. We, we'll get to a time where USDM is stable, where it, where it repegs to a dollar. Just don't get caught holding the buck. So appreciate you guys. Have a great day. Let me know your thoughts below, but I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.